Yeah. Now, now we're live. Okay, I'm around the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> Real professional. I love it. It's so good. Dean, I thought of a fun thing we could add to our stream. Okay, what's that? How about like Porno? A, a wheel with different uh, voices that we have to do on it, like for the rest of the night. <sighs> okay, and you mean like impressions? Yeah, like Peter Griffin, Hank Hill. Okay. Right. And what if? And what if I'm a guy who can't do none of them? Well, you you try, what if then? and that's what I appreciate about you. So like. It's okay that you can't. Well, yeah, I always impression. try. It's okay that your impression well, who's is not... the worst. <laughs> yeah, I know. But who's not going to who's gonna sit here and not try? I mean, I'm trying to make content. There's a reason we have $15 now. Did you know that we're up to $15? $15? That's right. You have to split that now? This is so yeah. fucked, dude. It's, this is uh, I mean, apart. it's a B52. And then I was thinking about it too, and I was like, and that's. Um, no, we don't have to split it. You have to get it all, remember? Because I mean, until you recuperate the price of your computer. Like, Love Shack is one of those songs. Yeah, I haven't told my wife that, but... I haven't told my wife that, but as soon as I do, she's going to be really pissed off. <laughs> I got me a Chrysler! It seats about twenty. Um, I'm like on a new B52s kick. I'm obsessed awesome. with B52s. I don't know why, but totally. like, he's B52 pilled. Um, yeah, hey, yeah. You want to get McCray's video up? Yeah, I'm working on it, Dean. Okay. You okay. Piece of human garbage. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. Whatever you say. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the relationship we have. It's really uh, good. Healthy. It's good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love it. I love. I love Nate. I have Whoa, to say that. Oh, that's a big again. Discord window. My Discord window is so big. <laughs> Whoa, it is a big Discord. You can't oh, spill the beer. You can't uh -oh. post from other people's. Can you? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. Sorry. Eh? Talking to myself. Talking to myself. Um. Hello, everybody. Hey, my crazy. <laughs> We've got McCray. You may know him from Bib Brother. Bib Brother. Bib Brother. Bib Brother. Uh, you may know him from Twinter. What do you think of that, Dean? What do you think of the. You make him really big. That I've got here? You make him really big, cover up the whole game, and cover up me too. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. What does McCray think about me saying Bim Brubber? So hurry up. I like it. I like it. Your jukebox money! <laughs> My kids are asleep. I can't do that again. <laughs> Love yeah. Shack. Uh, like, we were, me and my roommate were just talking about it, and like right now, our roommates, our, our uh, apartment mates, our flat mates, I guess, they're pretty far like <laughs> removed. We've got one vacant place, and people above us are young and don't care. People next to us, I don't know. But yes, my we fucking we are be, we're screaming way too much here in like the middle of the night, just like popping off, playing video games and shit. It's so bad. That's cool. No, That's it's weird. not. We're gonna get fucking in trouble. Hey, Dean, Cops you are gonna play come. the video game or what's uh, what's the deal here? Are you playing that dork game that you're always talking about? Yeah, I'm just playing the dork game until you were ready. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, Dace, how's it going? Good to see you in the chat. Dace in the chat. Dace, McCray, what are you hiding? I, you're right. I do feel like I'm hiding something with this background. That's I love what you're it. About. It gives you like a lot of like an air of mystery. That's why I do it. Mm -hmm. Everyone it, thinks it, what I've got behind me is something really sinister, but well, what it, it really is is candy wrapper. So <laughs> it creates depth a little bit, but I don't know. No. I oh like, no! It, looks, it like, doesn't look. I great. like the unblurred background. I like just like chaotic. Yeah. Just yeah. Nate always likes to see my candy. He's always well, saying. You've seen this see stuff before. Candy. Yeah, I've you've seen, seen the stuff. you've seen the Laurel and Hardy stuff. Okay, I have to mm. I have to find a, the picture from Kardashian in a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> so we're on to our first conspiracy. So welcome to Conspiracy Theory Night, um, which is a, a well that we will um, no doubt wearing, return to I'm wearing my on occasions. 
Oh, oh man. That's, <laughs> that's so good. Your QAnon, is that your QAnon Anonymous one? True Anon, yeah. Bush True Anon. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I still I, need to I, buy one of those. The, the videos I watched about conspiracy theories, yeah, I've learned like a some lot. Whack videos, I learned a lot from them. Uh, loose Change. Uh, McCray, uh, I watched Loose Change last month. Did you really? I really oh, that's good. Good. I was like, when Loose Change, I remember when it came out because it was a thing, it felt like. And like, I remember a lot of people being like, have you ever heard of this? And like, I remember right. watching it and being like pissed off because I was like, oh, this is such bullshit. Like, I fucking hate this. This is tapping in. Like, I was a big, like, I'm against it. I've like, I don't know if I've ever really watched it again or critically, but I still like, uh, it was like another one of the beginnings of me being like, a skeptic that's annoyed by all this shit, I guess. It's like a and really changes. bad YouTube documentary. It's not done well. It's the beginning um, of them, I feel like. I feel like that was the first big YouTube documentary that I ever dropped sure. that was like, someone, just a rando, made this and it fucking caught fire. Absolutely. Like, it was culturally kind of significant to a degree. It was that's in the zeitgeist, about, at least. That's about sim September 11th. September 11th. September. <laughs> It's about scrub scamber. Yep. Um, but yeah. yeah, no, I, uh, what did you think Chapter of it? After a while in my house. Um, I, I thought it was a pretty, or what else? It, it wasn't done very well. You know, it's a YouTube documentary, but, yeah. it was um, shit. you know, it's, stupid. it's become a punchline that people reference in our culture. And I'll say that I had to, I actually agreed with a lot of it factually, um, mm -hmm. even though it's done pretty poorly. Okay. I agree. All right. What about watch it? I don't know. Seuss change, and it's about like do <laughs> the Doctor Seuss conspiracy. That's so good, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I, there's probably a lot of stuff you could actually bake with uh, when it com comes to him, right? What is his he, name? Theodore Geisel. Theodore Geisel. Or whatever. He is, yeah, he was fucked. And some people are saying that like he didn't make his sick wife kill herself. I think he did. But you know, I don't know enough about it, but I I want to believe. Yeah, I want to believe yeah. that. <laughs> that would be cool because he exactly. like immediately got, he immediately got remarried. Well, to, like I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, guys, know. here here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Kim Kardashian has photoshopped her belly, but well, she's clapping back. She's clapping uh, back. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think. Her belly button is photoshopped out of this picture. Photoshopped out or photoshopped in? Photoshopped out, as in she does not have one, like a jar person, Dean, like you were saying. <laughs> jar person. Okay, yeah. So, no, no, no. So, so, no. So, people say that she photoshops out her belly button. Well, she did. She just did it thing. on this one. Yes, for sure she did. Like, the, oh, one, the, the, the image of... Sorry. Can you see it, Dean? Yeah, but like as a joke, right? I don't what? know if that's true. I don't know what the joke would be. But the picture on the right, she does not Photoshop out her belly button. It's like turned cock-eyed to the side. Well, that's so what like, I thought too, but I don't think that's on the, right. On the one on the right, yes. That is 100% what is happening I in my know, opinion. I don't know, dude. But the one on the left is I saw the original image that she posted and it definitely is cropped out. Okay. Like, so yeah, yeah. The one on the right. I see what you're saying, okay? That little I, divot, the little divot. I thought Her that body's too. Yeah. But the other, the other um, option is that it's it's the other side of this thing, right? Like it's the other side of her abdomen. And, oh yeah, and it, yeah, yeah. We're just seeing yeah. a weird shadow on it because I thought it was her belly button too. I'm like, it's right there, but it's not. <laughs> the belly button I was is looking at the under for the a while. underwear. That's what's going on. Oh. It's under the underwear. And maybe, so this picture, this maybe picture she, is not supposed to look like it was like painted on poorly with like. Well, no, I there think is she a weird did edit part. Edit yeah. it out because it was like sticking like half out of the underwear, and it just like looked compositionally, generally wrong. You know what I mean? So oh, my da theory. Davinsky's checking out the screen with a, a magnifying glass right now. Go check out the <laughs> pictures. Hi Rez on Twitter for yourself. Go to Twitter.com. So, yeah, that's like we need to be looking at those. But yes, uh, my theory, Dean, you you hinted at it. Um, you know, people are saying she photoshopped her belly button out. I think she I just think, doesn't have one. 
Exactly. I think she's been photoshopping her belly buttons yes. into every she picture forgot. for the whole time. Yes, exactly. This is a fuck up. The rare fuck up from the Kardashians on this one, I think. Yeah. A rare mess she from the <laughs> <K. K. laughs> Yeah, I think they fucked up. She was, yeah, she was grown in a lab. Look at, like, look at her rise to fame. Mm -hmm. It was all she orchestrated was... by the, the deep state. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely I mean, deep so state adjacent. Yeah. There, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> in terms of conspiracy, I'm usually, like, anti-conspiracy theory, but this is just, mm -hmm. like, this is, this isn't even, cons this isn't conspiracy. They hide their no, symbols in plain yeah. sight. <laughs> and as you it's can see, she is standing we're, next to the deep yeah, we're, end. We're over, <laughs> oh my god. We're over the target. That's why she fought back against this so wait, hard. And guess and wait, Nate. Mm -hmm. She's in California, which is right. a state. Oh, you know who else is there? Deep pedophile state. elite. Yeah. That's true. Oh, Pedowood. Pedowood. I'm gonna get a beer. <laughs> All right, Nate's getting a beer. Uh, McCray, let me see if I can get you in this game here. Of what? Uh, Fortnite. Of uh, Fortnite. I don't. I gotta. I gotta jump on here. Oh, okay. I'm not yeah. Give it, a, give it the old college try. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so let me quickly re retweet this thing here. I think we cracked the case on that one. Yeah. I That was what confused me. So that's like, so people are saying that she photoshopped out her belly button. <laughs> yeah. But no, I really do. I mean, like, it wouldn't make a lot more sense if she just didn't have. This is the one time she did photoshop it in. <laughs> yeah. She could be a pod person. She could be a lizard person. Pod yeah. I was born pod. Your lizard. She's some kind of person, and it's not. This it says repair. Anything? You guys might have to rip a game without me because it's That's saying fine. I need yeah, to repair can, something here. Rip. Do you got? Do you have any of the other like cross platform? Do you have like uh, Warzone or anything? No. You don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nate was like, uh, "It's super big. Just get Fortnite." I was like, oh yeah, I think I just got rid of. The Don't Omni forget guy. to Photoshop your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> what is his name? Fred Schneider. Everybody's moving. Everybody's grooving. What I got? Oaks. God damn it! It's so good. Okay. I don't think I have a good version of his voice, but I like to do it. Oh yeah, it's really okay. fun to do. Yeah. It's kind of like a Weiger voice. <laughs> Buddy. Um, oh, I was gonna give you some uh, props, I guess, for the last. Uh, what was it? Uh, how did this get made? Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I Princess the, Diana. Yeah, the Princess Diana one, where I was just like, <laughs> this motherfucker had to sit through this shit, also, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what, what your process is, I guess, but I just felt bad for you immediately. Yeah, I, I was watch like, it. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was immediately like, damn, like uh, he does hard work. He, you work hard, you know. So Nate, props. Nate, Nate told me he just Google movie. And I just Googled a movie. <laughs> Smart. I would do that too. Fuck. Uh, says, no Googled movie. And one fact. And I watched it. <laughs> that um, and he gets five hundred dollars. If it's like a more established movie, I do try to like watch the director's commentary or something well have we ever i've, I've ever uh told you about my theory about the diana stuff no oh yes let's talk yeah absolutely yeah this is this is my conspiracy okay. that i'm fucking i've baked up here yeah let's well, do we should do it. we should um uh educate dean too diana was murdered by the royal family yeah no got it no what what occurred was <laughs> The, the, there was the paparazzi. paparazzi. <laughs> yeah, as which they are, want you to think. Which is an, which is an Italian faction that has invaded. <laughs> <laughs> and what they did was they drove next to her and her friend, and they started flashing their cameras in the driver's eyes in order to kill her and unseat the royal family. That's right. Hmm. Okay. That's okay, what they want so you to believe. McRae's theory on Princess Diana. <laughs> <laughs> so my theory on Princess Diana, um, it goes back to Jimmy Seville. Oh, Jimmy wow. Seville is yeah, like, wow. yes, uh, this is. Uh, they just had a documentary come out about him or whatever uh, on Netflix. Maybe I haven't seen it yet. 
Um, but yeah, this dude's obviously the most fucking heinous pedophile monster in the UK, maybe of all time. Maybe the know. world, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but he was really good friends with the royal family. He um, he was really good friends with, I believe his name is Charles, I guess. That's no Andrew's brother, correct? The royal yeah, family. I mean, that was, yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> and so fucking, um, you know, like, Epstein's obviously tied into all the, uh, Prince Andrew as well. Um, yep. So my theory is basically that Princess Diana found out about the pedophile mischief. So, the thing is that Jimmy Seville was the mediator for their divorce, or for them, like, separating. For real? Because, like, they... Yeah, that's no joke. I yes, that is a hundred percent real. So like wild. when they were trying trying to get separated or whatever, yeah, Jimmy Seville took them to like some chateau bullshit, and then basically was the <laughs> like mediator. I, I no, just like I think he was trying to like put it back together. Basically, like don't tell anyone, otherwise we're gonna kill you. Was, is what I think. He was like a TV personality, right? Yeah, was, right. Yes, yes, he was a child like Oprah, uh, presenter like host. Like if Oprah wanted to help fix your relationship, right? I, wow. I think like he's a so, beloved but also like, television personality. He's like Mr. Rogers, basically. Sure, right. Mr. Rogers, I feel like I think that's kind of akin to what would it be like. Mr. Yeah, Rogers like, turned out to be like the most notorious pedophile ever. Yes, yeah. Um, and he is on this the Dane Dean podcast does stream does think that he is bad. Yeah, we do Ooh. not support Jimmy Seville. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Um, so yeah, no, make that I agree. I saw him. <laughs> McCray, do you want to are... make any statements? I, I, I um no we statements at this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. We I will refrain. Yeah, I'm going to refrain. Um, my lawyer says I should refrain. Um, but yeah, so I think, like, to be honest, I honestly do believe, like, I think uh, Jimmy Seville being there at the mediation just makes me fucking want to believe that it's all connected. As well as the fact that uh, Epstein had, or <laughs> Jimmy Seville had a collection of human, or like, of eyeballs, glass eyeballs that yeah. were in people's faces and shit. It's like, like Epstein. Yeah, just a monster. And then Epstein, later on, when Epstein got raided and all that shit, they found yeah, Jimmy right. Seville's collection or something like that. Like, yeah. So he has the connection to Seville as well, as well as Prince Andrew, every, everything. I don't know. To me, I'm just like, uh, there's something there. There's something yeah, that, sure. to me, that's what I'm convinced of. Yeah, uh, and that's my theory. Yes. And what do you guys think about, um, like, politics? <laughs> Um, <laughs> politics is is busted. Politics is shady. Business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, not a fan. And I and I'm I'm inclined to. Agree. Politics is not vibes. Politics is not vibes. Okay, so, but like, you guys know why would you know anything about England? It's a dumb island that we beat them. We don't okay. know anything about England. We know things about famous <laughs> pedophilia cases. Yeah. And then anything on, like, those Adam Curtis documentaries. Yeah. Or, like, yeah, that's the only things that I know about England. Who that guy? Who's that guy? He, oh, wait, uh, I wait, like his wait, fucking documentaries wait. a lot. He just makes, like, very eerie. Yeah, kind of, I think. That's how he kind of got big. But he makes just, like, eerie videos about what's going on in the world. And my, I, I don't know. It's tough to explain, but they're always really I, I watched one of his because someone said it, and I was like, hmm, okay, yeah, this sucks. And then I, it was like, <laughs> no, uh, there's there's at least one I know that you would probably be like, oh, this is pretty interesting, actually. Well, but no, it's, like, uh, I mean, like, the things he's pointing out about. Oh, how, yeah, but, yeah, no. Yeah, it's also, pretty like, miserable. I, don't, I mean, like, I also don't want to know. Yeah. You know, that, like, that, I, that's true. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want the like behind the scene. I don't want to know how they make them. You don't want to know yeah. that our own government did 9/11. <laughs> well, now I believe um, that I don't believe that conspiracy theory. Really? Yeah. No, I yeah. don't know if I do either. Okay. The, I, I mean, mean, okay. I'm sold. <laughs> well, well, there's things that like uh, I, I don't know. Like I think that a plane hitting a tower could definitely take down a tower like that. I think like that's that's, that's, that's I do believe that's possible. That's, not that's the part what they say happened. Yeah. Uh yeah. How I do don't you know. Be talking about that is what they say. 
No, that is what? not what they say. It burned down. Yeah, they what? say it burned down. Like the official the report jet says, fuel. it was because of the fire. Yeah. Well, yeah. Leaking the integrity. Fire and being hit by a really big fast plane. But uh, those bu buildings like that don't burn down. That's the point. It's the first and last built like high rise skyscraper to burn. And so the one like. But the funniest thing. But have any of them out, uh, other ones have been have they been hit by a plane full of fuel? Have any... We should just like recreate it and then try to recreate it. <laughs> Don't Myth say that. Mythbuster right style. Mythbuster <laughs> style. <laughs> like <laughs> Mythbusters could do it. They could get away with it. Let's uh, say you're gonna redo 9/11 <laughs> on our stream. <laughs> Whoopsie! Make yeah. Big Brother 15. Oh, we got crazy. some chat. Again. We got some good chat here. Um. um but I think, like, it was basically when the the structural integrity of one floor coming down with the weight of the floors above it, I think that that creates, uh, you know, and then just that, a that third chain building, reaction. Effect. That third building. That part, I'm like, that's bullshit. Yeah. That part, I could not explain. And to me, though, I'm like, that is bullshit. I agree of, with uh, that. A lot also of accounting <laughs> information in that building, too. <laughs> not Not recoverable. <laughs> That's, you're, it's you're, insane. You're being silly. I'm not being silly. What about the, um, have you heard about all right, the, like, you what'd you say? I'm just, I'm just, tr I'm just troubled by me. I'm troubled. Yeah. By yeah, that's troubled. I think, um, learning about stuff like this is comforting to some people. Yeah. To me, it's comforting. I, yeah, but, like, uh, I mean, I'm not a structural engineer, so I don't pretend to know, but I can absolutely see the logic in a building getting hit by a big-ass plane, and then also a bunch of fuel burning on a floor for hours, Ooh. or for, yeah. you know, for like an hour, and then it just falling, and that there was a There was a collapsed. video that we, uh, that my, it was in Metal Tech, I believe, in Metal Tech for one of the days where, uh, the teacher was gone and was a substitute teacher. He played a video that was basically about the science of how fuel could melt a steel beam sure. and then collapse it. And so I was like, that after that, I was like, okay, I'm pretty convinced by that. That makes sense or whatever. But to me, I'm like, would they put propaganda in metal tech classes when the, <laughs> yeah, like, the demographic of the metal tech class <laughs> is just like, you know, you're fucking Johnny Here, works the farm. Here's the or thing, whatever. dude. What you said is not is not that out of bounds. And again, I'm not an engineer either, okay? I yeah. am going off of what the like government report after the fact when they looked into it, what it says, okay? Is that the plane crashed into a higher floor, started a fire. The jet fuel caught on fire and traveled down the elevator shaft and weakened the bottom of the building. And then the entire thing collapsed. And that's a little too far-fetched for me. I don't think that that, that would happen. Because if you, you think, think about that, it, right? that, like, a liquid why would, would flow downward? No, I don't think it would. You know? Why would, why would anything here. below the plane crash be affected? It doesn't make any sense. What? Like the floors below where the plane crashed and the fire started wouldn't be affected by exploded. what was going on above it. It exploded. Yeah, but they still have to support what's above them. Like just because the top of the building gets blown up doesn't mean the bottom of like the building. The, it wasn't it wasn't like it was the top floor. It but it was like a pretty the, high up floor. It was like the it was like the top middle was the top middle shake says wow finally a good a good guess for the stream yeah shake he's right <laughs> shake i'm he's trying to convince these guys that 9 11 was an inside job i i don't know i think uh, i i think i think that we uh, i think that bush knew you know or people in the government knew that an attack was probably going to happen um, and that's that's but, all it takes. That's all the evidence you need right there. And well, they didn't let it, it was going to happen. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. Yeah, but like they didn't whether they helped them it. or let it happen, that's still doing it. 
Dean, do you have uh, a conspiracy theory that you yeah we like can move to away from nine eleven? <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, what, we're never gonna cover any ground. I guess it's just always the same. But Dean, what do you got? Do you like? I know that you're the skeptic, skeptic. I guess I don't know what. Yeah. What do, you, the, do you get into anything? You, um. Well, yeah. I mean, I hmm, do. I believe in anything. I think that like the government is hiding like the existence of alien life. Okay. Okay. We're just not, like we're just not ready. With that. We're just not ready for it. Didn't they like were too to handle like, it last year? There's sort weird things in the sky. Them. Yeah. Well, like, and I kind of agree with them though, because like COVID made everyone lose their minds, and that was just like a, like I can't imagine what knowing that there were aliens would do to our society. Like the number <laughs> of fucking freaks that come out of the woodwork. Oh, the posts that would happen on Twitter <laughs> if there were aliens. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I, I have to spend a day on that hell site. I don't think anything <laughs> would happen. I think we'd all like. Make our jokes it's about like, yeah, it, okay. and the next day be like, okay, whatever. No, I don't think so. I think that this <laughs> look is at the Q stuff. I mean, shit. People make up shit for nothing at all. Like, if there were aliens, it would become like there would be a whole religion devoted to the aliens. You know, like yeah, shit would get pretty. It would get weird. I guess I don't know if I would say it would get cataclysmic or. There's absolutely no the fuck. comparable precedence for a reaction to learning that we are not alone. There's no way to know what would happen, but I think it would go bad. What if? What about when uh, we uh, we all found out the McRib was coming back or something? <laughs> People lost yeah. their damn minds. It's like the same thing. <laughs> yeah, the the and the the McRib was the McRib. was an alien. The McRib was McRib. an alien. That was the an McRib alien. Was I alien. I. Again, I think a Kardashian, I think she might be an alien. Again, the belly button thing. That's my proof. I think, yeah, I think that, that she sense. is... So here's a conspiracy theory that I prescribe to. I think she's OJ's daughter. You, you oh, I love that one. I do love that one. I'm going to subscribe to that one. Oh, wait. So, I'm going to yeah, subscribe yeah. to it, not prescribe to it. Dude. I'm going to prescribe to that one also. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm afraid I'll fucked up. Yeah, I don't know what's real. Yeah, she's a I, yeah, she's No, a I've heard that, Dean. <laughs> I've definitely heard that. Yeah. I mean, OJ not? could be an alien. Well, yeah, maybe these um, are connected. Maybe OJ grew her in a lab. I can't. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I had this conversation about this exact thing, but <laughs> I don't remember what. Uh, but yes, no, I definitely believe in this one. I, I like this one a lot. I think this is good. I think it's like. Fun. Yeah, yeah, Dean. I think they're all fun, and they're also different levels of like danger. Of course, but also like I don't know. Like, I like Bigfoot. I, I feel like I've talked about this before, but I like Bigfoot. Oh, I, love I like Loch Ness. Yeah, I like Loch Ness monster. It's fun to believe. Or it's you want to believe, you know? It's fun to believe. Yeah. Have you guys ever like seen? Uh, He's a great guy. <laughs> have you ever seen uh, Incident at Loch Ness? Um, uh, maybe. Is it a it's a, or is it a it's a like mockumentary a... with yeah, Werner uh, or Werner Herzog. Oh, yeah, Zach Penn, monster. Olivia Munn's maybe first movie. Oh man, um, the Loch Ness it's monster fucking, is my yes, greatest it's, mystery. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically the premise is uh, Werner is going out and to make a uh, a documentary about why people believe in things like Bigfoot, things like Loch Ness, things like alien abduction, stuff like that. So he's like trying to tap into kind of like why we believe in these things. And then his producer is a guy that's like, oh, we're going to like put a fake Loch Ness monster in the water. We're going to film it. Like <laughs> he's like the gimmick guy and Werner's just like pissed off at him the whole time. Like watch this fucking movie. I, I saw it accidentally on cable one day at my grandma's house. And I was like, this okay. is the, f this combines everything. That's my favorite, you know, that's Loch Ness cool. monster, yeah, Werner Herzog, um, a mockumentary style. Oh, it's really, really Dean, good. Werner Herzog is the man that tries to buy baby Yoda in the Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you know him from? Yeah. So my you conspiracy theory about <laughs> yeah. Werner Herzog is that in Grizzly Man, yeah, he's the, Grizzly the, man, the Grizzly him. Man doesn't get doesn't get eaten. He's actually getting head from the, the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Do not listen to this. Yeah, Do not listen. 
doesn't want <laughs> yeah. the guy's wife you to listen. Burn it. <laughs> He doesn't want the guy's wife to listen. Your, it's like, my oh, husband fuck. cheated on you with an earth oh, sign creature. Fuck. You must never listen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's my conspiracy theory about Werner Herzog. I I'll believe that watch one. The incident of Loch Ness. Yeah, he I got head from a bear, one. and he, he got, got really a bear. He was hanging he out really for too Timothy long. Timothy Treadwell was a man. And it got he really he wanted too much out of life. Yeah, he's literally a <laughs> grizzly man. You tell me he's not going to get a head. Bear. The only man to have fornicated with a bear. Yeah. I don't buy it. <laughs> Timothy Treadwell was the bravest man <laughs> I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> you must never listen to your husband getting dome from a bear. <laughs> oh, God His screams will haunt you. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, you know, because it's only audio, right? His but rapturous like... screams of pleasure will haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> he's fine. He's just not leaving. <laughs> I yeah, love uh, Vern. To live with the bears. He's totally fine. He just wants to stay with the bears and get his dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. <laughs> just go away. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah. The last thing Tim told me was just to go away, to get away from the bears. Oh, someone's shooting at us, Dean. So, Shake is going camping, so he'll look for me, but... Hell yeah. Oh, I think that, like, going out and doing a Bigfoot hunt would be fun. That would be cool. Or, you know, it's just yeah. basically like, oh, a bunch of boys just hunting. Get together with the know. boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like get, getting drunk. Hanging with the fellas, causing a ruckus out in the woods. Accidentally shooting your best friend. He's <laughs> <Or just>, like <laughs> hoarding the ultimate nut cut on tape. And like, that's the thing, is like, fucking Bigfoot hunters would absolutely accidentally shoot each other. Oh yeah, no. That's why like, uh, there's a guy from uh, Big Brother Alumni who's like, deeply into Sasquatch hunting and all that stuff. And he's like, no, no, we, we have nets. You know, we don't want to <laughs> hurt them. We love them. We only want to just save them, you know? Like, it, and like, there's a weird part where it's like, I know they know that it's yeah, fake, it's... but also they love believing in it. Like, it's Santa Claus, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's fucking weird. I, but I love it. But it's like, I'll play along. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'll play along. That sounds listen, fun. Listen you know? here. Listen. This is what you tell that guy. There ain't no way you got a net that can handle a Bigfoot, okay? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could dig, like, a big-ass pit or something, but... Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Holly brother. Gordon. That can jump really high. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what's that about? He's got really big feet, so like you can jump really oh. high with big Bigfoot's feet. got a seven foot vertical. Yeah. And you know what they say. Yeah, Jesus. big feet. Yeah, He's Bigfoot's pregnant. packing feet. Big vertical. I always I... <laughs> um, well, He's uh, got oh. a big horizontal when it's Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> the bigger the feet, the more pregnant she is. Yeah, that's true. More pregnant she it's yeah. gotta rhyme. You gotta make it rhyme. Nah. Bigger the feet. Nah. The more <laughs> mesquite. <laughs> more mesquite. Well, I guess you could just yeah. do skeet. Like the bigger the feet, the, uh, the more you skeet. The, yeah. The massive the skeet. The more yeah. massive the skeet. No. Nah, yeah. The more you skeet, I think is what it is. Skeet what about the conspiracy theory that? Uh, oh, sorry. What? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to make up a conspiracy theory anyways. I was going to say that, uh, what about the one where um, actually the average male ejaculate is becoming less uh, voluminous no! Uh, no! Uh, per, on average per year? Well, maybe. You think that's the government? Maybe yeah, for you just, it is. That's just, <laughs> I'm saying on average, on, uh, on aggregate. Yeah. yeah maybe Are for you that taking these measurements, science McCray? Part. <laughs> yes, exactly. I absolutely am. By my studies, anyways. By my I calculations. You, I told you the one I made up, right? About Balenciaga. The Balenciaga one that I still am, uh, be I believe. Yeah. This not <laughs> Balenciaga good. has never existed in it my lifetime exist. until you told it's me never about existed. that. It's never existed. It's not real. It's like a 400 year old fashion house from Italy. Fake. fake. I, I fake, made fake, up fake. that. Um, there was a lost episode of Full House. The lost I like that. Full House. I like that. And what happened in it was that um, 
the whole family except for Michelle died of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an awesome ending. You gotta go. We don't have to go. Not yeah, yet. the circle's coming in. The circle just already did come in. We're good. Well, We're I, saw it move. I saw the circle move towards me and it looked at me. Yeah, and then it stopped. Um, but Conspiracy yeah. theories definitely dip into that creepy pasta. That's another part that hits well, creepy in your brain. Yeah, 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 for sure. Conspiracy far predates. Mm hmm. Uh, Reddit guy is like broken brain. <laughs> well, the Bukaki industry is supply chain, too. Ooh, let's hear it. This yeah, is real. Hear. This is just real. You'll notice this for real. real, real, real. American tomatoes are bad. Oh man, that is crazy. I believe they all that. It tastes bad. And if you go somewhere else and you eat a tomato, it tastes really good. It's good? Really? Okay. Is it like the dirt or something? It's like the chemicals we put in it. We do, we'll usually put chemicals that make things good, though. Yeah, but it doesn't work for tomatoes. Interesting. What do they call that shit in the tomato? Lycothropes or something? Yeah, like lycopene? Lycopene. Lycopene? Is it lycopene? Maybe like, like I bet like U.S. has more lycopene in the tomatoes than other countries. It's all John. So it has Kerry. like we have sure. to yeah blame him. John Kerry, Mr. Ketchup. Oh yeah, the Heinz family, fucking yeah. Scary is what I call him. Oh, Damn. Cause... Dean, come revive me. You have ten seconds. I'm not gonna Hold get there. down. I'm not gonna get there in time. So you can just hold on a second. He's Hans. Oh. The lesser one. I don't know the difference, I guess. You don't know the difference between Hunts and Heinz. Alright, so I'm a big ketchup no. Big oh, ketchup. Oh, ketchup love, truther? Love this stuff. And there's a huge there's a critical difference. Davinci's ketchup telling us that good. tomatoes are a nightshade, which means that it's technically a poison, so Yeah, and that's why Tom Brady that. Tom Brady won't eat them. I'll be done with Oh yeah, that's after. right, that's right. Tom Brady won't eat ketchup, he's scared of ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup is making America soy. <sighs> yes, it's true. It's ruining boys of the country. <laughs> so, okay, well, I want to hear your ketchup theories here. No, there isn't any. <laughs> what? They're just like ketchup is good? <laughs> he likes <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, so here's the one conspiracy thing. is how do they make this stuff so damn good? So here's, okay, so actually, I do have a conspiracy theory now. They say you gotta refrigerate ketchup after you open it. Yeah. That's yeah. bullshit. But you don't, because none of the restaurants do. Yeah. Mm. And how come? And how come ketchup be hitting so much better than cold ketchup? I mean, come on. You know I don't agree true. with that, but I don't know don't if I agree. I like. <laughs> I think I like uh, cold ketchup I with warm egg, eggs, warm eggs. That's what I like. I don't put ketchup on my eggs, but I do like cold ketchup. No. Dean, are you an eggs and ketchup guy? No, I'm normal. Um, I, I know. Yeah, I think that I'm guy. I'm absolutely the freak in this situation, and like I didn't believe in it, it till my no way, neighbor. Do that. Yeah. No, 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 I know. I, but I literally was like, "Oh, my neighbor's a freak for doing that," and he's like, "You just got to try it. Just try it." And then I did try it, and I was like, "Fuck! I've been poisoned by the freakness, and now I like it a lot, and it's good." But sister, I understand that is a freak opinion. My sister always That's ate ketchup. But freaks need to realize when they have a freak opinion, you know? Now, are you talking scrambled or uh, fried or... Uh, not scrambled. No, no, no. Like, I like it if you're going to fuck around with that yolk stuff. Because I usually don't try to fuck with yolk too much. But if you're talking about runny yolk... I love me some yolk. Yeah. So, like, if you're fucking around with runny yolk, a little bit of ketchup, too. Fuck. That's that's how you make a winner. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm crazy though. I'm a weirdo. I understand that. Um, damn, damn, that sounds that good. Shake. Fuck, yeah, that you're fucking that. smoking, motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I have I gotten like damn on my eggs. Yes. <laughs> and it has. A, Were you happy about admit it? it? No. <laughs> I oh really like ketchup. Clip I mean, that. Clip that. Likes ketchup. Yeah, Someone needs to clip egg. that. Yep, someone needs to clip that right now. Hold that against Please this motherfucker forever. Don't say that I like ketchup on oh. my egg. No. He's tried it before. Hey. hey. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, why are you I'm, showing me I'm that? Curious to know. 
<laughs> curious to know what was on that list, Dean, of like, the 10 greatest conspiracy oh, theories yeah. ever. I really think we should watch the video because it's fascinating. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got 64% on my install of Fortnite, so. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we are not playing Fortnite tonight. Yeah, that's <laughs> I know, I was going it's super great. slow. I was like, what and the where, fuck? where are we no, at well, on I, Warzone? Where are we at on the Warzone install? Uh, it's a 0%. To. Yeah. I'm ordering yeah. a new hard drive for my Warzone yeah. install. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Just, just watch this video and talk. So what I'll do, Nate, so, so that we can all watch it at the same time, is I'll actually host the video and share it with Discord. Okay. Yeah. So that way we can yeah. all be synced up with it. Oh my god. Because otherwise we'd be. You got fourth. Who, uh, do you, can I go to the bathroom, quick? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's going to take me a second to find no. this shit. Oh! No. Hey, Dean. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. I hate doing this. I hate doing what? The, the stream. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cool, 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 man. <laughs> Epic prank. No, I'm what actually up, what having up, word. I'm my damn time. Time of my damn life. I told my wife I made fifteen dollars. We made fifteen dollars, and she said, "Well, you made seven. And I said, "Well, no." I made zero because Nate gets it all until he recuperates. Yeah, Nate gets it all until he recuperates, and I don't like it, but it's what's happening. There's a guy um, on the stream live at Christ. <laughs> oh my god, there's a guy. There's a guy. There really is. <laughs> there's a guy. Oh, that's, one of my, that's one of my conspiracy theories, is that there's a guy. There. <laughs> Where? What? McCray, don't him. freak out. There's a guy behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Did you ever see the. Um, I just saw this one today. The. Uh, what is it? Uh, Thisguy.org? Mm mm. Have you ever seen that? Where it's like posters plastered around that says, uh, have you seen this guy in your dreams? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've never even seen that before, but then I started looking into it today because I was like, oh, this could be something. But I was like, oh, that's fucking awesome, actually. I love that yeah. shit. I see him in my all right, dreams all the time. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pop this up on the old... Do I have to click stream. watch stream to watch it? Or will it just do it? I think you will. And I think they okay. will, too. Bro, um, okay. and then and then be you clicking. can just show this window instead of mine. What the hell just happened? It's gonna reformat everything on this. I bet. Up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but once you go me. back, it'll be fine. <laughs> Tell I, you don't have you're... to. I don't have to be on it. I don't. Yeah. Okay. No. We're Tell good. me you guys are ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's play. Can can the stream hear this audio? They should be able to. Turn it up. Okay. Oh wait, I can turn it up. Watch Mojo. I got it. All time. Because I don't believe in the COVID. I don't believe it's real. For this list, we'll be looking at the conspiracy theories so, that loom largest. Hey, he's alive. Everything with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Whether thanks to their popularity or improbability, did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments. So Watch Mojo is no, just a movie Mojo. National website. Hidden Treasure. It's a very poorly kept secret don't that there's a hidden room know why they're doing it. What? This is just Da Vinci Code bullshit. True. This has led Basically Da Vinci Code shit. It houses proof of alien life or treasure. What are they talking the about? The area is anything but sinister, though. Believe me. I know. The original <laughs> monument, just the most out of context clip. See, okay, wait. Dean, pause. Okay. So, just, just... I'm sure I'm going to be able to do this with every single thing in this video, okay? <laughs> but there is an actual sinister history to Mount Rushmore that you could talk about in a conspiracy theory video where, like, yeah. it's it's a sacred uh, Native American site and, like, the, no, the, the clan funded, funded making it. Like, there is stuff to talk about here. But they're talking about the National is, yeah, treasure. They always, they always take it and then they want to amplify it by like, oh, making outrageous like, you know, claims. If it bleeds, it leads. That's basically how everything goes. Like, you got to make well, the headline as bold as possible. 
I don't know. I mean, Watch Mojo has 24.4 million subscribers. I, I guess don't they think they know. Would they do. must be right. Yeah. Must be right. Yeah. We, yeah. We're this wrong. guy is like a clansman or something. Although <laughs> yeah. for real. Yeah. yeah. His daughter collaborated with the Mount Rushmore Society. Yeah, his daughter carried it on. With a visual history of the U.S. She doesn't look evil. She looks like a Nazi. <laughs> she. No, she looks innocent. She looks like she's a good, you know, Christian woman. Oh, okay, so here's one. Oh, Oh, this was an awesome one. This is just true. This is just true. Exactly. Yeah, this is true. We're talking about a blue horse with glowing red eyes, intense murals, and a gargoyle. That yeah, the murals are so cool. Hey, I'm talking to you. They're fucking weird. Oh, yeah. and did we the gargoyle talks at the airport. I've never cool. seen that, but that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> that's cool. Jeff fucking Schroeder from Big Brother. That dude on the left is from Big Brother. <laughs> are you fucking insane? That's so fucking wild. McCray, I wanted to ask you about something. Um, Dean, pause. Oh, yeah, Georgia uh, guys, that was a bit. I went on uh, one of my one of our friend uh, George's podcast, best little uh, horror house in Philly, and we talked yeah, about the Human Centipede movies, yeah. which are directed by Tom Six, and apparently he's a Big Brother guy from Sweden. Uh, he was oh really? He, like directed the show or something? I think. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, look up Tom this is Six. Yeah, I like how you'd spell you six? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this guy's a f- seems like a lunatic. He, yeah, he's what? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Those um... are those are the only photographs of him that exist. By the way, is him looking like that. <laughs> but where did you see this on IMDb? Yeah, something about how he he started working on Big Brother or something. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into this because this is that sounds interesting yeah i mean big brother is like basically on everything yeah okay no this is good so so this is just so they just take steal footage from other videos but did they talk about the the dude that made that horse got killed by the horse when it fell over did they talk about that that's true okay no they didn't didn't bring it even exist well, that's yes, like the best did. part. But according to this theory, he didn't write his plays. At least We're just not all of them. Some people claim movies. that William Shakespeare <laughs> was just a pin Watch Mojo is a movie writers. thing. How much do you think someone made to edit all this shit together? $50. Dude, that's the most depressing part where it's like, right. I'd be willing to do it if it was some money, but it's, it's a lot not. of work. Yeah, it's good work. Yeah, right. Oh, exactly. Edward Devere actually wrote the Bard's work. Promise me you'll keep our secret safe that you won't expose Shakespeare. These alternative authorship theories have gained. I don't believe this one. Due to the lack of okay. I thought I've heard this before. Oh no, it's definitely a conspiracy. But I don't believe. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't I, know I, it wasn't real. I would say it's probably. Not a lot of people think that it's like that. Number there was like a woman writing it. Are you from another planet? It's Gagarin. Gagarin went into space. Soviet cosmonaut I don't know what that was. was the first oh, to you're Gagarin! Or was he? According to the Lost or Phantom <laughs> Cosmonauts conspiracy theory, Gagarin was the first human to survive the journey, but he was not the first sent to space. Rumors what about, uh, do you know the Valiant? Oh, uh, what is his name? I'm sure you've heard of it, Nate. Allegedly, Valiant. At least was it Thor or something? Space I don't know. Gagarin's. I don't know what you mean. However, any information about the hold on, hold on. Let me look this up. Public. You guys ever go on YouTube and listen to the audio of that Russian cosmonaut that, like, burned up? You can, like, <laughs> Fuck like, no, why would yeah, I dude, listen to that? that every night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I sleep. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave that on. <laughs> the ongoing cold Just as war. checking. Although most of the states formerly restricted information has become available like since we the know the US Shake says he also a little uncovered to support space. this particular theory. While the lost cosmonaut theory itself may not hold up to scrutiny, one thing <laughs> Okay, what uh when it comes to Soviet <laughs> Russia, there's Nate, have you ever heard about Valiant Thor? No. Valiant Thor, he's the alien 
that lived yes. at the Pentagon. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's like some weird guy. Like I don't remember where I heard about him, He's but like like, like an ambassador or something, right? Basically from right. like an alien planet or something like that. He crash landed here, but he also was just yeah. like, take me to the president, basically. And he just hung out for like years. He just hung out. Yeah, he was <laughs> weird. That's it. Like the guy, I think the guy that like said he met him a bunch was like a low level government employee and he says that like he, i think you i think he talks about how like the earth's gravity started to really fucking wear on him and stuff i must go home now <laughs> just this alien this giant i think he was a giant like yeah he was tall, tall as shit there's pictures guy. of him i think i think yeah, there's right. they're like there's pictures and they're like oh yeah this is him by oh. nixon or whatever okay mccray yeah here's why i know that name okay yeah. They included him in the most recent season of American Horror Story. The, oh, really? The black and white 50s alien one, which is really oh, good. It's I might watch that really just for good. that. Yes, yes. The Valiant Thor story, uh, that tickles my fancy. I like, like Google, everything about that story. Google Valiant Thor American Horror Story, and you'll see the guy that they get to play him. And he's like... He is just like this weird fucked up guy that keeps coming by and like making the president do uh, stuff. <laughs> okay. That's oh yes, this is great. This seems super good. Cool. Oh, and he cucks, that. he cucks the president too. Number six. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Oh, Valiant, yeah, a dude named Valiant Thor. Yes. <laughs> okay, classic. This is a classic one. I really got yeah. into this one. If you're a diehard fan of the Beatles, then you're probably quite familiar with I this am. conspiracy theory. I am. I love Beatles. I do too. The Beatles. According to the story, Paul McCartney died on November 9th, 1966, after his car skidded off an icy road. According to the like icy at all. Paul is dead. A lookalike. This may be where I got into into conspiracy. This I agree with that. I Nate, this I think that's it. Yeah. Nate. Nate. Uh. We should mute Fortnite. It's like overwhelming the audio. Of dun, 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 dun. Fine, whatever, Dean. Can you? <laughs> I, I just shake. It's a, it's a request from our viewer. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going back. I'm, I'm going back. Shake your request is valid. Dean's request was fucked up to say that. In to songs me. like Strawberry Fields Forever, <laughs> there's a line where John Lennon supposedly says, "I buried Paul." I yeah, buried he does Paul. say that. Nine, a song from the band's white album that when have you ever seen? Is supposed to they say, they like circle his thing. earbuds. They show how his earbud his his uh his, his earlobes are different they, before and after. Longer. <laughs> You know, than I've even been alive, and you've been doing it so incredibly well. And the fact that you're still here today, uh, in 2013. Number 15. Oh, okay. The way so they the use the earlobes thing. CIA. So insane. Um, the other thing I was going to say is like, oh yeah, uh, I think I really got into it too at the beginning of YouTube. They had a bunch of those like Paul's Dead videos and uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, the backwards verses in, uh, you know, like Stairway to Heaven. I love that shit. That shit was great. I know those like lyrics by heart backwards. It does possess links to a real disinformation campaign propagated by the Soviet Union in the This one's also real, though. That is yeah, super cool looking. There's definitely was something. What are they talking about? This is a uh, CIA uh, put a Yeah, I, I, I would 100% believe it's that. It's a crazy allegation printed in yeah. a small newspaper. No big deal, right? But false so now they're blaming guys. Russia. This is, yeah, someone so else's content. So all they do is literally just Today, steal other people's videos. Oh, okay. It's fair use. It's fair use. Yeah. And this is what we're doing. It's just fair use. <laughs> this is also fair use. You better fucking believe that is. <laughs> so satanic panic. Did our last satanic panic is conspiracy? No, I checked and we didn't have any. Um, cool. Didn't have any strikes. Yeah, I mean this one's fun. People became convinced that Satan worshippers were all around. But, them. Like, What's the conspiracy the, theory? I mean, yeah, pause. this is just a thing that actually happened. <laughs> you know, like right. just like well, the conspiracy <laughs> is a real thing. The conspiracy awesome. being that that there was like a cabal of Satanists in the United States. Oh, uh, I guess. So, yeah. and, it's from the perspective you know, of like you dumbasses believe this shit. Right. <laughs> you know, or like yeah, like I don't this know. one. 
it depends on the conspiracy. They really kind of go all around in this video that um, I think is really good. This video is really good. Um, yeah, like, if this video was, like, the actual 20 biggest conspiracy theories of all time, it would be talking about, like, the the the, the protocols of Zion, right? Like, really old, <laughs> Yeah, like, that, that's what you are going to get there. Like, those way. are the biggest Just conspiracy way. theories. <laughs> it gets there. I'm telling you, this video... I, it covers them all. The whole time, like... If you were a really dumb guy, like you just didn't know anything about conspiracy, and do they I am? Yeah, and we are. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we you, absolutely you are. No, if you're just a normal guy, I guess I should say, like a, a person that wasn't fucked up and online all the time, like <laughs> this would be a very good primer because it's yeah, so fucking like it's so diverse. Guys, I don't want to freak anyone out, but Da Vinci's a bit of a Beatles nut. Oh, oh shit. shit! Watch out. Does he think Paul's dead? So I guess I is Paul dead? I guess I didn't think there was a Paul conspiracy. I didn't really know that oh, one. Oh, it's awesome. I there's love that of, one. There's He's a lot dead. of band musician conspiracies. <laughs> He's dead. Why would they need to replace him? Why would they, like... So, like, it's the biggest band in the world, right? They're, it's profitable. So they don't want to lose their profit. So instead of saying <laughs> that he died, they just replace him with a body. But, but they said he died in 66, which was pretty early on in the Beatles' like rise to fame. Well, so yeah, saying, basically. If you need a motivation like, for the thing that's not real, that's what the motivation is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So one thing I like about the Satanic Panic was like the stories that the kids would just kind of start making stuff up and how well, yeah. like, it actually really they, fucked them up. Right. They, yeah, yeah. There's never been any proof. But there was like the a story of kids um, like getting down to like the well, satanic all, sex dungeons by like being pushed down a toilet. That this was going on. Wait, <laughs> Dean, <laughs> pause like, for a sec. Because you're talking <laughs> about you're talking about what they're talking about the the Saint Martin's preschool scandal, right? Yeah, yeah, I yes. think that specific one. There was there's this school where like somehow something fucking got started where I'm like germ. kids were saying yeah. that like they were being abused or that there was like satanic like practices going on. And they said that they got cool. like pulled down drain pipes into ju- dungeons and stuff. And like yeah. what it was, was like parents and cops like whipping into a frenzy and like, <laughs> Yeah, questioning like it's their happening kids until they say something. Yeah, absolutely. There, You're right. There was a very fucked up and regressive psychologist that saw a lot of those kids right. uh, early on and just was like, was like, just did, because they did like, uh, what's it called? Like, um, memory recovery stuff. Yeah. And, and he did that with all the kids, and he basically, you know, it's a child, so their imagination's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, there's Pokemon there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, like, I mean, Dean, guess they what? Just got, what's up? What? I, I believe very recently they did discover like a bunch of tunnels underneath that school. Is that real? Like underground. Like I don't know if it's just like part of the school's like old building or something, but I believe I want to believe that like every school has that kind of stuff. Well, sure, I'm sure that's all it <laughs> is. But like catacombs, every I school read has somewhere, catacombs. Yeah, that they like they did discover <laughs> like, like catacombs down there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows my school had like maintenance tunnels, and it wasn't even like a very big school. I don't know. Maybe it's all true. Oh, um, Da Vinci. Do you remember it. anything, Dean? Do you remember being pulled down into any tunnels? Did you get pulled into a toilet? No, I just <laughs> got like the normal molested. Um, you just got normal but, swirlies into toilets. Uh, yeah. The <laughs> so Da Vinci says a 2013 rumor that kids were smoking bed bugs and beezing off of Burt's Bees lip wax. I, I feel like I remember the the Burt's Bees wax thing. I definitely feel I'm like insane. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Uh, that also was like a, a hot on the heels of the Jenkin. What is it? Was that what it was oh, called? Jenkin, where you jank them? Jar and like shit and cum. I only heard shit and piss. Wait, Never a cum topper. Say it again. You broke up. 
<laughs> okay, maybe it's not cum. You shit and piss in a jar. I just get it confused with the the, the cum jars, I guess. Yeah. Dean can't know. Can't, cum jars. Dean can't keep his cum jars straight. You don't have cum jars, my friend. <laughs> oh, cum like, jars. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you guys I know. heard us. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got yeah, like, you, like little, you got like an action pop. figure you like, like a little Aquaman or something. Come on, you throw you, them in you a jar. Cover them. You fill it up. God damn it! Because you like it. it. You're off yeah. color. Oh yeah. Or like you got like a picture of like uh, Dean or like Yonkler or something. You like throw it, <laughs> throw it in there. Throw it in a jar. Just let yeah. her go. Yeah. And you like see how long it takes. It's fun. I'm gonna throw yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, Jankum. It's got to be one of those vacuum on sealed course, jars, otherwise it doesn't right work. Q-Anon it doesn't smell, my God. Celebrities and Democrats instead. Yeah. Well, I don't know oh, much about go. the movement other than I understand they like me very much. Number that's a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't like pedophiles, and that's a bad thing? Yeah. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> what a genius. Hey, come on. What are you showing me that for? Yeah, Get yeah. the hell out of here. Those guys hate bad guys. I don't know. They might be good guys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this one's true, obviously. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Ray, Ray uh, being <laughs> hired by the FBI to kill uh, Martin Luther King. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, believe that. The They're saying that's a conspiracy theory? For example, the FBI. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> it is like, oh, no, because... King. Ray the later recanted government's, you know, like the, he was even the record all, of the. King's it is a conspiracy theory. The I believe that it's had, we may fact. Never know the truth for sure. Yeah. No, fact, but that is factual. <laughs> but but it is a conspiracy theory. Not everyone believes Free him. It. Free him. McCray, we were talking about. Free we him. About Jack Ruby the other control. night. You know Jack Ruby? Oh, really? Yeah. Of course. I uh, I bought that RFK book that, about that, uh, or that lady that wrote that book yes. about RFK assassination. Sirhan, Sirhan. I bought that book. Yeah, yes. yeah. I bought that book because I was like, fuck it. I want to read this shit. This seems so interesting. It's good, right? Isn't that true or not? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I haven't, I've not even touched the book yet, but no. It, the I listened to that true or not, and I was like, yep, I'm, I'm, I want to know more. So I'm Dean. so, so curious. So, Dean, yeah. This guy, Sirhan Sirhan, shot at RFK, Robert. Uh, Kennedy in a in a mm-hmm. room a small room okay that there's like 25 people in okay okay and the author of this book is advocating that not only were there more than just the one shooter Sirhan Sirhan but that he was psychologically manipulated into like firing his gun off in the room while other people shot Robert Kennedy and ran away interesting <laughs> yeah i uh the guy that's gonna come back and say no that's J- jfk jr that's jfk uh, yeah yeah what's god there's too many of those K's. no they're all just a cursed family but um yeah no when i i i heard that shit i was like fuck i'm gonna look back or i'm gonna read this book um the book's good the episode's no, and- good no the uh the other thing about it is that it's like yeah basically she posits that he was like Manchurian candidate, yes, I guess, or like he was, he was mind washed or brainwashed. Um, and then, like, I don't believe in that shit, I do not believe in it. But, like, I've been listening to like just different random podcasts that have nothing to do with like conspiracy theories, but I've heard on multiple times like people talking about, like, oh, yeah, it's actually very real, like, it's very right, real. like brainwash and manip or like and whatever the fuck it is. But to me, I was just like, I don't know what to believe anymore, <laughs> it's I just don't know. <laughs> Hundred percent real. It's not. It's kind of I like think... satanic panic. Not in the sense that like, I don't know if it's possible to actually do it, but they're trying yes. really hard and they're getting like. Oh, some and I can see why the CIA. I mean? Right. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. The CIA would put money into yes trying to hypnotize people. Yes. Obviously, it makes sense. Yeah, um, I think if you you got like I mean I don't think you need to hypnotize people I think you can just drive people crazy yeah. if you have like you can completely I believe that too yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what they did to Jack Ruby they put him in that's a room with an LSD scientist that's what they're doing to Chris Murphy that's they're what we him all sound see crazy it. everyone <laughs> thinks that he's racist and yeah. you know speaking the truth 
He's actually he's being poisoned by a, by a MS-14K 13. Ultra. Oh, 14 Dull. Yeah. He did that last night, too. Mm-hmm. He called MK Ultra MS-13. Yep. <laughs> Same guy. It's, it's really so, tough to follow Chris um, after this. <laughs> Shit. That you the know? Following this Chris is, the is a guy. Drinking water for fluoride in the water thing. To sap away our mental strength. I don't know. I feel like I like my fluoride. Yeah. I feel like I do need it. I feel like that's a good thing. The real theory is that the fluoride shit is a it's a red herring from the False other flag. stuff that they actually are putting in the water to make us. Uh, I like that. You know, to make like us. Uh, you go after the fluoride so you sound crazy. Make us Italian, I think is what they're doing. I want to listen to this part because when I listened to it last time, because listen to this. During nope. World War II, while a minority of scientists do oppose water okay. fluoridation, based on any of these wild claims, which lack any evidence, countries and states are going to continue being on board with fluoridation until someone finds damning evidence that they shouldn't be. Which, in 70 years, no one has yet found. Yeah, in 70 11, years means it's not. So here you go. It'll never here happen. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Only if some Here's the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the juicy bits. See, they they talk <laughs> about the protocols. <laughs> this is the seventh. It was a hoax. It's only seven. <laughs> Basically, the conspiracy that Bill talks about. And the number one real conspiracy theory is Mr. Pringle a real man? <laughs> yeah. Is Beyonce in the Illuminati? Yeah. <laughs> For decades, Butler shared his dream of a white-only homeland with recruits who came to his 20-acre compound. It comes in many forms, from claiming that Jewish people... Wait, were they just talking about industry, colonial dignidad or whatever? Of World War II. It's a strange, the guy who started... Uh, into the darkest recesses the of the human mind. Argentinian... Number 10, advance warning of Pearl Harbor. Whatever. Oh, no, that... This they is get real, there too. too. This is another one that's 100% they, real. They knew about it. They did know about it, <laughs> yeah, and they let it happen yeah. so that they could go into no, the war. Yeah, revolving around yeah but guess real. what? No one to thinks that. Withhold. <laughs> Vital no one, if you ask anyone, <laughs> hey, they would never say, yeah. If the FBR knew about this, he would, they would say, no, I've never heard but that. Yeah, 100%. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> it is. It's true. Sure. Yes, it's true. <laughs> FDR was a real son of a bitch, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Or no, it was. Uh, he has was some Johnson. son of a bitch missed him. Johnson they all have son of a bitch missed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. His bunghole. <laughs> Got to remember his bunghole. LBJ. Yeah, he was like an asshole. Yeah, he, monster cock. Yeah, when you got a dick that big, you can be an asshole. He definitely seems like is that like he was like a giant dick asshole. Number nine, the Earth is flat. Yeah. The world is Number nine. Okay. Something that even the ancient Greeks figured out. There's plenty yeah, of I like the shade commercial of airline these flights, dipshits. time zones, images from space, and so many more. Oh, oh did you see the birds are real guy? Yeah. The birds are real guy basically was like, our, our birds are fake, and he basically claimed that, or he's like, oh yeah, I was making it up the whole time, whatever. <laughs> that dude's awesome. Yeah, that's he's funny. Its first iteration was founded back in 1956 by Samuel Shenton, a sign writer who created his own cosmology, partly based on the Bible. Today, some proponents even okay. argue that Australia doesn't exist. We guess <laughs> I believe that. I agree with that. Hey, I, I, that I part I agree with. Part. That might be so fact. I'm pretty sure. See, number, Australia. number, this is, this is the funny Donald one. <laughs> he's fucking, like, the results. he's got to do we won the stolen election. Historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. <laughs> Alleging hey, we show <laughs> me these Trump voting numbers for everyone knew it at the time. People that didn't know it, they're dumb. Some people didn't know it, but everybody knew it. <laughs> we all knew it. <laughs> Some of Trump's allies even recommended. I think no thought was Constitution and declare my but Trump it's a good list. The that I saw recently was the one where he was like yelling at the stadium to turn the lights out, and everybody was. I'm nodding. <laughs> Turn off the lights. The campaign culminated in the 2021 United States Capitol attack when rioters stormed the Capitol, leaving five dead. It was a dark lesson in how five dead. Five dead. Number seven. Adolf there we go. Escaped to Argentina. 
Oh, this one. I like this one. This is 100% real. Well, it's, I, mean, <laughs> it's I not, like this I don't know one. if I don't, Hitler is real, but like <laughs> all of the high powered Nazis escaped to Argentina. Yes, like that is 100% yes, real. I believe uh, exactly. Yes, that's real. War all but over. I, I want to believe this one. I'm a Newton. I'm a Newton. Ah, uh, I don't. This is a cell phone. What is it? I know. <laughs> what is that from The Simpsons? <laughs> Uh, nuisance phone. That's it. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Look, that's you. I don't think that. Argentina with Ava, and body doubles were shot instead. Dean, you've seen Hitler. Yeah, I watched Jojo Rabbit. You had him in your crosshairs. Taika. Was during 1947. Shh, I think Anya Joy is from Miami. Okay. Sorry, the chat was asking. Oh, she looks some sort of this Eastern European. Widely dismissed by historians. She's English, but she no was born in Miami. We got to the age of information <laughs> when the truth should be out She there. thinks the female orgasm is coming up next in the video. Number six. <laughs> That's really good. Many of us are anxious for more information about life beyond the stars, and some conspiracy theories think we can find answers in the Roswell. This one is so US dismissive. Air Force of Area 51. This. They yeah. believe that an actual flying saucer crash landed in Roswell, New Mexico, back in 1947, and not a surveillance balloon, as the U.S. Army claims. Right away, rumors spread that alien bodies. I mean, I guess this one is probably also true. To be, I'm like, I don't know. The UFO the There's also a widespread belief that Area 51 holds the remains of the crashed aliens as well as alien tech. The theories have gotten traction in part it thanks is. to the fact that Area it's 51 real. is a highly classified Air Force so facility. Yeah, I could go there right now. Training and development that oh, you could get there. Yeah, I could get there. Dude, I'm did you try to attack it? Yeah, I when they said it. everyone was. Yeah, did you rush it with everyone else? Yeah. If we all go there, the did you time. not Ruto run? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Dean, I'm, I'm sending you a video I want you to play after this. Okay, okay. Lizard people, the reptilian theory. Oh, yeah, this is a classic. Classic. Hillary Clinton is definitely a lizard person. Oh, have you seen her? Feeding off humanity, they've turned humanity into a slave race. Who runs the world? Lizards. At least according to English former footballer and sports broadcaster David. Ike. After he visited oh, he's a psyche, footballer? He that he was the son of the god yeah, Ike is fucking weird. <laughs> no, he's happened, the fucking so scum of the earth, but I didn't know that that's where his background is. I'll tell you what, world was being run by you know, the lizards. one part of this lizard person theory that I believe, <laughs> when they, <laughs> when they show, <laughs> like, the pictures of all the celebrities that are supposedly lizard people, like, back to back, I do think yeah. they all kind of look like the same, like, weird, oh, yeah. fucked up they look lizard fucked race. Up. Yeah. yeah, of course. That's why you can throw Michael Jackson in there, and it, you can throw every weirdo, and it's like, yeah, I believe that. It's just because they're all getting you know? the same, like, expensive plastic surgery, Number four. but, like, <laughs> they do all look yeah. the same, and it's, it's like a really yeah. good trick. Yeah. <laughs> that is a great gimmick. So, yeah, global warming is fake, is a hoax. We know this is true. Absolutely a hoax. <laughs> For real? real. <laughs> it's also real. Okay, yeah. Shield our Jaguar. I did see, uh, I did yeah, see a Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg recently, like, and I was like, fuck, that dude looks fucked up. So, uh, Adam Silver of Basketball, that man is a fucking lizard, man. Okay. Yeah, Adam Silver, if anyone, uh, has been watching <laughs> fucking Basketball, that is a lizard, man. Shade brings up a good point. It was nice out today. Uh, Ooh, that science bitches. Yeah. Damn. It was actually really yeah. cold here. Yeah, so how could that be degree. global? Yeah. Anyway, I think so Dean's an alien. Dean's a lizard person. Theory, assassination of yeah. John F. Kennedy. Yeah, if I get a little bit more bald, Nate will think I'm reptilian. It's just people that don't have hair is people that they think are reptilians. <laughs> no, if you're I don't tall, think you're reptilian. You don't have hair. Dean, you look like no, you have a reptilian it's... brain. You look like that one right. race of <laughs> yeah. aliens from Samurai Jack who are very nice, and then he teaches them how to fight. Well, that's cool. I never yeah, seen they're that. cool. They're cool guys. 
Okay. Yeah. All right, let's learn about the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Like this is such fucking horseshit. It's this very is the funny. good one. This is the good one. US president by former Calling this a conspiracy theory is offensive to my intelligence. The nation. I know. <laughs> I just watched JFK. Today, I'm just getting paused. Are you getting... Harvey Oswald oh. Act oh. Alone, or was there another shooter? Back. Did someone you put it up to it? Why did oh. nightclub owner Jack, Jack Ruby kill Oswald while he was in police custody? When Jack Ruby killed Lee Harvey Oswald... It's a good there picture. Our ability to it's the best the picture. Yeah. The trigger. What were it's like an all-time picture. Organized crime. Well, they These all knew it was coming. And more have obsessed historians, <laughs> true crime buffs, and ordinary citizens alike. And if there was a conspiracy involved, we may never know. We do know this. That day marked the end of an era. The end oh, of the grieving Mrs. Dick. Kennedy suggested. <laughs> Dean, pause for a second. Number two. Have yeah. you guys ever seen that video of... Um, the the secret service guy that's supposed to be riding on the car behind Kennedy getting waved off at the airport no i mean this is part of of you know the whole kennedy thing but there is footage of like the lead of the secret service team that's guarding kennedy telling the yeah. guy jumping on the car right behind kennedy like who's supposed to be a human shield for kennedy get off the yeah. car back off fall back what are you doing yeah yeah we need to make the, those guys dead and you see the guy go like what the hell man like i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to be riding on that car why are you telling me to get off the car? <laughs> yeah and it's like super I, weird i Fair used right. to be i used to be like oh yeah jfk stuff like i i i believed it you know and then uh I, yeah i watched jfk and i listened to whatever true and non whatever but the yeah, the True Non JFK series is, is excellent. Yes. It's a really good It's so good. Series. Yep. Yeah, uh, sure but yeah. Very true, Ron, then. <laughs> true Shut up, Dean. But also, the movie JFK was so fucking good. I was like, JFK this, is like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, it, it, it fucking seeds the possibility of doubt, which is like, that's what our fucking justice system is built on, you know? The possibility of doubt. It was I a don't coup. know. I believe I in fucking the believe conspiracy that. theory that that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, but he did not deliver the fatal shot. Someone else, so one of the service, <laughs> Secret Service members accidentally, accidentally shot, shot him. him. Well, yes, it was like, <laughs> that's was like, a conspiracy theory. There was like four that's teams mine. shooting at him. For real. <laughs> I believe that's that. My conspiracy I believe theory that. is that the guy got scared because he was they were they were getting shot at and he like moved his gun he accidentally blew the Fuck. fucking i believe that i believe that jfk's skull i think that he killed him jfk would have died either way but i think he shot him and just be like <laughs> let's not let's not talk about that and we're just gonna and, make this really easy and i think yeah. that's what made it all you know so Dean, fucking... you i i disagree with you to my dying breath but you, you, you bring up a very good point in in that in, in the true non episode about uh the las vegas shooting they bring up the point that's like you know, a lot of like the weird conspiracy theories in United States history really could be because like a cop freaked out and like shot into a crowd when there was like a mass shooting or something. And, like we don't know anything about it because something so like monumentally fucked up happened that they think that if they release that information, we would fundamentally lose faith in like society. Like I mean, like yeah, the aliens that they don't like, want to tell us about. Like yeah, exactly. to me, it's 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 very sinister, but it's a different kind of sinister. Right. And I think that there's usually a more. <sighs> um, but JFK Occam's was, razor was shot for his political beliefs. By <laughs> we can agree that he was Oscar. killed by Americans. Yeah, yeah on American soil. Was, yeah, we can all agree killed, that he was killed by former Marine Lee Harvey Oswald, a great <laughs> a guy we all know is really good at shooting. No, and his uh, yeah, like one of the all-time greatest shots, the best shooting ever. Guy. Probably and will never ever yeah have anyone even close to that kind of shot shots fired six seconds down range. Yep. Incredible. Yes. Look, look Nate, watch, watch me. Ready, 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 ready. Start a timer. One, ready. Mississippi. <laughs> two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. That's, come on. That was three shots yeah. in three seconds. And Dean's a great shot. So, it's you possible. know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
What's the next couple ones here? The what moon landing was faked. Um, no, what's faked. the movie? It was. seems too strange for words. But the theories are there. <laughs> well, Did we the know the that uh, what is his name was hired to do it. Yeah. Supposedly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kubrick. Uh, Who's this lady? The Who's they're this just guy? People, they're just Locked asking people in Vegas. They're in Vegas. They they're in Vegas. Uh, you know, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard, wait, what are you showing me there for? Oh. <laughs> there, there must have been a, a convention. The point where such ideas yeah. <laughs> were dramatized in the 1978 thriller Capricorn 1, as well Never as the 2015 this. comedy Moonwalkers. I haven't seen Moonwalkers. Never seen that either. The latter unique theory that famed director Stanley Kubrick Okay, okay. So here's my question. Of the Apollo mission. This idea you don't need Stanley Kubrick. You need like the special effects team. Well, yeah, but Stanley Kubrick is the guy. He knows how to lead a team. He, you need a director for the team. You need someone to lead the team. <laughs> you don't understand the hierarchy of a set, Dean. I love how it jumps to the <laughs> South Park, South Park <laughs> Avengers. That's John Wayne. No, but I mean, you guys, you guys get this, right? Like, you agree with me here like number one the new world order. you really think they no, could broadcast the moon landing live well it wasn't live there was a delay but even that <laughs> gotcha bitch gotcha even, uh, <laughs> even that like no i agree i don't i don't know i think that there's how? probably the capabilities for sure this one I is think... like jury's out for me i i don't i don't know i want to believe that I think that they they did land on the moon. And I think that yes, it's real, I do but too. I also think, but I also think that the government totally could have made it up because of how fucking weird. No, our no, the theory is up. the theory is not that we didn't land on the moon. We absolutely did land on the moon. The theory is because of the propaganda war with Russians, it was more important to show us landing on the moon than to actually mm. land on the moon. And so we had to fake the showing us part because we couldn't do that. I like that idea. I really like that idea. Yeah, why would an astronaut lie? And go recall. <laughs> but they're not lying. They did go to the moon. Mm. That they just is gave true. Them, like fake cameras with blinking lights on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would it, you make them go all the way up there to the moon? Because you still do want to go to the moon. And if they die, you still have footage of them being like, we walked around up here. Mm -hmm. No, so here's the thing. If if they can broadcast in 1969, like, telemetry and radio signals to the spaceship to get them to land on the moon and then take off from the moon, you can broadcast TV signals from the moon. I think I agree with that. I There's think I no, agree with that. I don't like the you couldn't broadcast from the moon. I think that's bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Well, because I, uh, you're I in a little not, box. I am not an expert, <laughs> but that is always what I've thought. They, we yeah, need but get, they were, you guys get a van on this podcast. He'll fucking, yeah, we should yeah, ask Van. Stay straight about fucking satellites and signals. Um, <clears throat> the video of, uh, what is his name, Buzz Aldrin, punches some dude out. That's really right. awesome. Funny. See, I believe like, he did go to the moon. <laughs> that's, that's exa that <laughs> video proves that motherfucker went there right, because like, <laughs> you do not have that much pent-up yeah, anger yeah. just to fucking crack I don't think someone. he's lying. Yeah, absolutely. What if, <laughs> what if he thinks that that footage is of him? Well, that's or what I'm saying, is that like you also wouldn't tell the astronauts that the video is <laughs> fake. Yeah. Why would you so, tell them that the video is fake? <laughs> yeah, the rights to broadcast from them are expensive. I think yeah. my brain is melted. Yeah, I mean, I guess then, yeah, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't tell them that they recorded it. And you, so you're saying that they kind of tricked them? Oh my god, McCray Did... left because I said that thing about Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> His brain melted. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh shit, oh fuck. He's McCray back. had enough of a. Did that happen to everyone? Insulting it was, it was just Aldrin. me? Just oh, you. It was just you. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Oh, yeah, I got to look at whatever fucking video Nate sent me. Hold School, on. Just search this for the, Trump what? turning the lights off. The last one's about the New World Order. We know that's fake. Uh, oh, no, that's that also is the elders of Zion or whatever, the protocols of Zion. 
Right. Yeah, that, that kind of just feeds into the... Exactly. Andy and sounds as you want to put them in our um, yeah. They were probably sent here so... Yeah, I don't know. Trump Trump video. <laughs> okay. Because to put them in our jails, they didn't pay the electric bill. To put them, oh, I like that much better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Those lights were brutal. Are they come from? The <laughs> the oh, don't turn them on. Forget it. Better, right? Don't turn them on. Yes! We love the lights off! Yes! Yeah! He's, he's just amazing at like going off the cuff and just being like, oh yeah, this? Like, he's vibing, fuck it, man. this is great. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, I bet all those scenes like during The Apprentice... <laughs> like, I, I bet there's so much stuff in The Apprentice where the, the producer just like, oh my god, this is too good. Like, him just being insane. <laughs> no, no, no. What? So wait, good. wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah! Yes, let's fucking go! Yes! Oh I'm gonna go vote for you, sir! No, no, I'm gonna go vote so hard for you, sir! <laughs> <laughs> hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our No, show. I'm not a fan. How do you beat that? <laughs> it's like the same That's thing as, like... Funny. Having an audience of like a million people when you're streaming, right? Like, it's just it's just so intoxicating to be in front of a crowd. That yeah. Oh, exactly. And they See. like it's a vicious cycle that right. just like feeds back into itself. You know, like it. It's I just not it. great. And we and it's eat the lights, don't we, folks? <laughs> <laughs> it only is just gonna get worse. You know, it's not gonna get better. Yeah. Hmm. Politics is done. We need to have a, a revolution or a coup or something. Something violent, I think. That would be really good. Yeah, let's let's, let's incite violent. <laughs> On the Twitch. No, no, he's just saying that it could happen. Not that we I approve just, yeah, of I it. I think it could happen. I don't think we should do it. Just... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, just be fun should do it. to watch and post about. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm, well, um, anything else to watch? Any other conspiracy I think in the video? revolution, I'll be the ironic posting guy. Hell yeah. We need that guy at the front lines, <laughs> ironic posting for no, everyone. In I don't front. want to be at like, the front lines. It's, it's no way. No, like you're like the guy that's like carrying the flag or you're the guy that's like playing the flute or whatever. Like, and I was marching towards the scumbags that were canceling the South Park you're like, song. Is that is that a but um, yeah, there is conspiracy theory SpongeBob? That was that's funny. <laughs> it's like search, the, rec search the, recommended. the conspiracy theory Avril Levine. You know I oh, saw that one's a good one too. I, I saw, like that one. I saw a guy drawing SpongeBob in Nickelodeon Studios when I was a kid. Ooh! You want to hear this story? Let's kiss him. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> emo <laughs> Avril Lavigne. <laughs> I can't do SpongeBob. That's, that's, that's so funny. Is emo um, Avril. So when I was a child actor, I auditioned mm. to replace the voice of Hey Arnold. Oh my Whoa. god. Because I could kind of do the voice. So I got they, they sent me in for an insane. audition. Insane. Nothing what does Arnold sound like? He's like, oh, Bob. Hey, He's I'm got like Arnold. a raspy voice. Yeah, it's very raspy. He's like a cool, yeah. quiet, raspy guy. Yeah. But I could kind of do it. So I got to go into Nickelodeon Studios and audition and everything. That's and cool. when we were leaving, instead of leaving, my mom like grabbed me and was like, let's walk around. That's and cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, we started walking around and they had like cubicles Except the cubicles were like all like geometric shapes with like crazy colors on them because it was Nickelodeon Studios. I love that. And we're walking through, and there's a guy Dave working. Snyder pops out. I think it really was him. <laughs> Stop. Well, whoever Stop. draws SpongeBob, he's there. Oh, okay. The, and <laughs> he's working at a drawing. It's just one table. guy. It's just That's one guy. Thing. And my mom walked up and was like, sorry, we're here for an audition. What are you drawing? And he was like, I don't know. It's something that like, I, I'm just working on. It's like this sponge. 
It's like this underwater sponge guy. Wow. Whoa. And he showed us like the animation of him walking. Like, Steven Hillenberg. And it was really cool. <laughs> but we obviously That's didn't. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, we obviously didn't understand the implication of it at the time. That's the so says Nickelodeon cool. came to a school and executed their principal. Oh, they did do that. <laughs> they let you like take over your school for a day, remember? Did they really shoot your principal in front of you guys, Davinsky? It was a slime slime. bullet. (laughs) (laughs) Untraceable. Slime bullets untraceable. (laughs) They turned him into the slime. (laughs) They melted him down. (laughs) This video, let's see. Is Ever Levine dead? That's a good one. I think my favorite one is uh, Stevie Wonder is... Those are great. Can see. Yeah. Yeah, Stevie Wonder can see is my favorite. Lot of lot of arrows, see. lot of arrows pointing in those videos. <laughs> like, look at <laughs> look at where his hand is pointed and how he's looking <laughs> at the guy that's coming towards him. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. It'd be so fucking cool. Yeah. So Da Vinci was lying. Uh, we have to put him in the lying box. We got to make a lying yeah. box, Nate, for for our listeners. Da Vinci, you're banned for a year. One of our only viewers, you're banned for a year. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was my dream too. I remember watching Nick and being like, I wish that they would come to our school. Um, does does anything get said here? Okay, so is it? The, let's see. So, oh, okay. So she the was she hair. had she had brown hair and now she has blonde hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and she's convincing. wearing a Beatles shirt. That's a sign. <laughs> Paul is dead. Paul yeah. is dead. Yeah. Avril is dead. That's what she's saying. Yep. Oh my God! It makes will, sense to me. They will broadcast their symbols and messages to us. Yeah, exactly. Even that the new Avril smiles with her teeth. Sorry, I said that. Complete that purge. Um, yeah, no, I believe it. I do believe that one. Yep. It's, it's yeah, it's the same thing. She's a brand, so like, if they can keep oh, yeah, making money off brand. her, they're gonna they're gonna replace her with a clone or something. I don't That's believe why it at all. They made her marry the some forty one guy. Yep. Keeps but here's the going. one that I do believe. Mm-hmm. The Taylor Swift conspiracy theory. Oh, which one's that? Ooh, okay. Okay. That she is a, a Satan a clone of a Satanist. Okay. What the hell? Where it's pretty it? weak. It's pretty weak. The I must admit, but Katy I Perry like it. is John Benet Ramsey one. Is, is a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That that's is a good one. one. Love a yes. good. We're... Love a good. This person is John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> is that story. person? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. So Taylor Swift is a clone of Zena Levey. Oh, that's Anton Levey's the... girlfriend, right? And she doesn't even know. Oh, is that? Oh, whoa. I like that. Yeah, she's a clone. She doesn't even know. <laughs> so when I go up to her and scream at her about, oh, she's she'll, she's she'll act like she doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah. So she's the daughter of Anton Levey. That the, makes sense. Oh, that does make sense. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she look looks exactly. I'm she's gonna show my wife this. Same person. I have a theory that there's only like 37 different faces. And like it's all variations of the same face. That's my conspiracy. Well, McCray, I think that yeah, there's, we keep there's finding, only thirty seven different faces. We keep finding what? you in movies. Everyone keeps in our in our yeah, class, exactly. Everyone keeps finding I know, McCrae's it's... in movies. So, so like you take that same basic look and then you variation it by like fifteen sure. percent. You know, it's basically that. It's basically there. Like. I think there's so, like I have I swear to God I have face blindness. I actually do. I feel like sure. what but you're like, actually I do talking that, about like, is, is skull phrenology, McCray, and, and you're absolutely right. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's why I like fifteen <laughs> skulls, and and they yeah, you know, like you can just person. measure <laughs> <laughs> you can measure the skull size, and you just know what kind of person we're talking about. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I but I sort of got like I the phrenology. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thirty-seven really different faces. This isn't the phrenology stream. For, uh, stream, McRae. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Chris I'll Murphy's I'll I'll, I'll dial it back here a little bit. That's Chris um, Murphy's stream. But did you guys see my uh, cameo to Chris yes, Murphy today? We saw your cameo. It was glorious. Okay. It was yeah, beautiful. great. great. 
Shout out to Jeff yeah, for can... uh, paying me to do that. That's cool. <laughs> Seven dollars and buy... fifty cents. You can buy McCray online. Here, um, Dean, will you play this? Yeah. Is it where are you sending it? In the Discord. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Should uh, I pop a plug off right now? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. We're almost done. Um. I um so. 10 years ago, I made a podcast called LoungeTownPodcast.com with my uh, my co-whatever, live guy. I live with him. My <laughs> Yep, exactly. Um, but uh, we made a podcast 12 years ago, or 10 years ago, and now we are basically looking back at it now as like some sort of weird time capsule, and it's bizarre. And uh, But yeah, we were at the beginning of weird podcast making, and uh it's weird to go back and look at it now but uh i there's something about it that i'm like oh this is not bad it's Did just like 10 was, years ago mccray yeah it was 10 years ago that's that a we long made this time ago. Fucking stupid <laughs> it, it was yeah and it was before i was even on big brother it was before everything it was just like us being like we're gonna just do something stupid like yeah we were just gonna i i was obsessed with podcasts back then and i was like we need to make one we have all the equipment yeah let's just cool. fucking do it I rounded up my fucking friends, and uh, yeah, it was it's annoying, whatever it is. But uh, th- yes, I'm enjoying going back and listening to this weird time capsule. I don't know. So go listen to that. Lounge Town yeah. Podcast. Yeah, it's it's already out. LoungeTownPodcast.com. Okay. Uh, we're on like maybe episode three or four. Uh, we're bringing back people that were on the old episodes, like oh, in time fun. with them. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's bizarre. It's fr- uh, yeah, everyone go listen to it. Yeah, I did a podcast with one of my friends in like 2006 or 2007. Damn. Um, and listening to like find like finding that it's was so funny. American it hurts. Hi, boys. And then I I actually did a podcast called? about supernatural stuff with a guy. Dean. Oh, really? Yeah, I Trans- learned a lot Dean's about penguin oh. caught. Every- a lot of number stations stuff. Dean's podcast. Uh, I love number stations. I do love number, number stations. stations. Are very cool. Is about the oh, American that's conspiracy shit. Guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> I'm I'm all into that. But that like, definitely hits that conspiracy theory. But like that's also like tangible. You know, like there's something weird going. I don't. Like, well, I just don't think you've looked into the tangibilities. Yeah, you got to run these the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't ran any numbers yet. That's true. I have run very few numbers. Let's see what this this Everyone video is sent us. He's All right, sorry. Stars in the yeah. Batman. He don't in have to apologize, chair McCray. So Listen to more. McCray's podcast. Here's how he made it. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, a very cool idea. idea. No, it's a cool idea to go back and... And about the film. You'd and like, oh, yeah, mine it for content. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. In the Batman, it's super simple. It's, uh, it's annoying, but... Against the Batman. It's, it's, it's funny to two years. listen to yourself. It's the worst. It's the worst. Leaving dead bodies around town with messages oh, it's so terrible. Barrel's yeah. depiction of Oswald Cobblepot or the Penguin is hey, already earning praise. What are you showing me that for? Life. Come on. <laughs> where's the, I wonder, where's the damn picture? I don't know. He's not saying anything. This sucks. This is a three minute video. Hey, where take happens. it easy, sweetheart. It seems like a <laughs> sure sign that Nate trying to get a bigger. This only is Nate just trying to work out his impression. What did hey, to make such a whoa, what are you saying that for? What the hell? I, uh, <laughs> I mean, ba- uh, 10 years ago, I would have been fucking on top of the newest Batman movie. 10 years later, I'm like, I have not seen the newest Batman movie, and it's in my fucking house right right now. I just, uh, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Are you streaming this Batman? What, what the hell? Batman. Hey, what's going on here? No, I'm not, uh, yeah, I don't know. I gotta watch it, but uh, it's not calling my name. I, I'm excited to watch it. I just haven't. Twenty years. Yeah. Wait, Colin Farrell sounds like that. Yeah, he's Irish. Wait, that's Colin Farrell. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Son of a bitch. Wait, that's Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is that guy right there, Colin? Oh, Who do you mean where it's from? Delayed. It's all delayed. Where are you from? Some of your business. <laughs> I don't know things about me. Why don't you send me a little email? I'll write you back real quick. <laughs> Where do you live, actually? Where do you live? <laughs> My God, we're watching a modern master. He's so good. What I, what I love about, 
what I love about movies these days is that you like we need they're like we need a normal looking guy, so let's put a celebrity in a chair for like four. Yeah, right. Hours. <laughs> make him look like make dog his face shit. look all fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> and then he can deliver the lines in an accent that isn't his. Hey, why don't you send me uh, a little email? <laughs> 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 Maybe I'll watch that tonight. I might just the, do it. The stream is all McCray. It's okay. worth it, McCray. It's I worth it. <laughs> like, there's gonna be no. I know that it's. You're not gonna I know, like it, but it's it's worth it. It's good. Spencer from watched, Big Brother is basically like it's so, the most kick-ass Batman. This is the best. It's not that, but I, it's I watched, always fun to watch Batman. The what I've watched so far of it, like I watched like the first twenty-five. Let's have it. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Because I, I, if you've read like any of the comics, especially like the Hollow, um, or played like the Arkham games, uh, I don't oh. know. It's it definitely feels more like those than, uh, you know, any of the other previous movies have. I like um, that. I like that. Yeah, I'm in. It also definitely seems like two movies crammed into one. If I'm being honest. I feel like I'm gonna start it up tonight, and now I'm gonna like be like halfway through. Like, all right, I need to save this. Like, I would yeah. have loved to see the Catwoman movie and then mm-hmm. the Riddler movie because that's what it is. Like, it it okay. it combines both of them, but like, it's really long. And I would have loved to see two two hour movies instead of one three hour. I movie. also read that there's no Riddler like riddle. There's not one fucking Riddler riddle in the motherfucker. Like, that, yeah. I, I swear to God, that is the dumbest shit, but that will make me be annoyed. I don't know why, but, like, Riddler is a part of, uh, yeah. I don't, yeah, conspiracy the theory the, the sick-ass Batman Beyond series. Yeah, they need to do that, 1,000%. Yeah. I'm, I'm also a big uh, Batman the Brave and the Bold sure. uh, fan. That's, like, my favorite Batman, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, so, like, I'm all for, like, camp and shit or whatever. But uh, yeah, wants, I don't know. Shake wants the whole the penguin movie. Let's do. Let's get a penguin. It's definitely movie. edgy serial, serial killer Riddler of the fun TV movie. show. I, I mean, you couldn't have done one. You couldn't have done one little riddles. <laughs> he does riddles. <laughs> he does little riddles. But all my right, problem well, is all right, all right. my problem with it is he's yeah. really good in it, and you literally don't see him for the first like hour and a half of the movie. Like you don't okay. see his face, and he doesn't say a word. Well, until he's, like that motherfucker the last good. act. The dude that's the actor. I yeah, Paul remember. Dano. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's Dano. fantastic. Dano's real good. Yeah, I, I, like, I like him. I like Year One Hundred Batman just because of the art. Of this one cover. Nate, can you put it on the screen or no? I was gonna say I don't know if I've ever seen Year One Hundred Batman. Year one? Yeah, I'll send you the link right now in Discord. It's just the funniest. It, uh, uh, it's the funniest fucking picture of Batman. <laughs> like, <it's> so... <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he look like that? It's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. What the I fuck? Love it. I love it. <laughs> squished Batman. Batman. <laughs> oh, and in a hundred years, he gets really squished. That's, Why is what, he that's squished what happened. Up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I gotta read it. I I know there's another um. Like, because I think he is supposed to be a hundred years old. Oh, that's funny. Like, is that like, real? Maybe not. Maybe not. I was thinking like the 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 final Batman story is Dark Knight Returns, whatever Frank Miller's. Like, that's the last story, right? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I feel like that was always like the I, the premise was like, oh yeah, this is the last story of Batman. And then I think Kevin Smith was like, I'm going to write the second to last story, mm. how he gets to that. It's like, <laughs> well, I mean, come on, dude. All right, gentlemen, this I has don't... been an excellent conspiracy theory night. <laughs> yes. Um, Please have me back on. I really appreciate oh, yeah, it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, we'll do more of these. This was fun. Hell yeah. yeah. I like uh, a stream I... where we don't play video games the whole time. Do you... <laughs> 9-11 was an inside job. It was a controlled demolition. Mm-hmm, Two planes mm-hmm. brought down three towers, and I want mm-hmm. you to say that you agree with me, on record. <laughs> no, I don't agree. Okay. Oh, well, okay. That's your right as an American. Thank I'm you. reporting the stream right now. <laughs> thank you, McCray. Uh, bullshit. Th- thank you guys for coming. <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Nate, we should be hearing. 
We should have been airing so me. many ads, dude. Why aren't we airing ads? No, we don't air ads on this shit. We got 15 bucks in the streaming account, dude. We don't need to air an ad. Ooh. Ever. Yeah, that's true. We are we don't lazy. Need ever need to air, air an ad, We have dude. so much money. We have so much money. Think about how many people you could buy off with that much money. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Talking I about conspiracies, you guys can make your own. I don't think we can touch it until we get to like sixty dollars, right? Dan? It's a, it's a hundred. Yeah, yeah hundred. <laughs> so we can't do anything. <laughs> no, we can't do anything with it, but we can like look at it, and I can. You can plan. You can plan and plot. Yeah. All right. I can tell All right. Everybody.